G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today we're going to be drawing monsters and demons. There isn't a right or wrong way to go about this, everyone has their different approaches, but for those of you who want to draw monstrous demons or demonic monsters and don't necessarily know how to approach it or go about it, I'm just going to go through some of the things that uh, you can keep in mind to make the process easier and a bit more enjoyable. So the first thing I want to go through is features of the demon or the monster. Now uh, in general they have very similar features to uh, just things we know, so eyes, nose, mouth and things like that. Now of course you can go uh, on the extreme end of the spectrum and do creatures with 10 eyes and uh, no mouth or you know no eyes and a large mouth and things like that so there are approaches like that but I'm going to look at using the things we know like the eye and this is a simple eye here using this as a base from which we can warp it and create a demonic version okay so this is my construction lines for a human eye. So we can take this and make various demonic representations of the same thing. So uh, how would we go about it? Well, one of the things I like to do often is make the eye a lot thinner um, and really pulled up on an angle. Another thing that I like to do is really accentuate the, uh, the, the burrow under the eye. It's where the the hole for the skull holding the eyeball is and, and giving that sunken eye look just really brings out the demonic side of things and often if you shade in here just in that sack area a bit darker it really makes it pop out so uh, the other thing you want to do is muck around with the pupils a bit so rather than just going with the same sort of thing if you go with like a really thin pupil like this and uh, muck around with the color of the eye and then the eyebrow starting in that angry sort of position going up really high okay so this is a very simple sort of alteration it's not uh, getting too crazy so as we go along and muck around a bit more we're going to get more and more weird and experimental okay so this is the first one okay so let's say we want to go uh, a bit more freaky a bit more monstrous let's uh, go with a start off with a circle have the shape of the eye follow around that circle, hug it a bit, and let's work with a slit for a pupil and really work in this sunken look, okay? Really work with the lines around the eye as much as you work with the eye itself, okay? So there we go, that's another variation we can do all different things, shading around the eyes to be a bit darker uh, and leaving the eye left, less shaded really makes the eye itself pop and the eye can often be one of the most accentuatable features on a demonic sort of creature. Uh, you can go on the extreme end of this slit sort of eye and make it really thin. There's also the version where let's say instead of a slit for a pupil we have some highlights and we have a very dark, almost black eye. That can be a bit freaky as well. That almost looks like an anime eye, so I won't do that for now. <laughs> and then we can go really on the extreme end and let's make a, a very small eye area like this and have a large area around it. So a large hollow around the eye, tiny pupil and lots and lots of these wrinkles around the eye and have some of these cracking lines around the eyebrow. Okay, shade that in, have everything around the eye shaded and that really warped circle, that really small warped circle will end up looking quite demonic. Now in isolation, these don't look very demonic, but as you'll see uh, after we go through some more uh, warps and features of various things, um, combining them and warping the geometry of the construction of the actual face will make a very cool sort of effect. So there are, there are some eyes and I'm going to go through now and create variations on other things like uh, mouths with teeth, noses, ears, things like this. Uh, and from there 
you'll see the final result. So I'm going to speed up the process so you don't get too bored. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go through now and do some of the other features and then do the line work and then I'll recap and kind of go over some of the things that I've done. So as you can see, I've got my finished variations of the demonic versions of these things here. So I've got the eye and those are the line work versions of the images I drew. And then we have the nose and in here with the nose, I did one which was a very long pull down one with various spots and textures on the skin, which is something that you can do uh, in general, having a texture on the skin will create a very demonic sort of feel. Uh, then we have this, which is almost like a gorilla nose, really. Uh, and that's something to keep in mind, too, is uh, if you really want to find different ideas for how you can go about creating monst monstrous, mon monstrous, monstrous, use your words, um, noses or features like eyes or things like that. You can look at animals. You can look up uh, pictures of various animals and use them as inspiration. So there's that. And there's another s demonic sort of look with that more slitted nose or that really high uh, nostril where it's almost, you know, pulled up like that. Uh, here we have the mouth, so uh, just a human sort of looking mouth, and then we just did a few variations here. One thing that I find uh, very useful in creating a very grotesque look is really bringing up either the upper lip or bringing down the lower lip and showing a lot of gums uh, and accentuating the gums by even making the teeth smaller. So here on the bottom, we can see that we have these needle teeth, these really small teeth uh, and showing the gums and that can create that really sort of creepy look, which is cool too. Uh, and you can also create those very thin lines around the lips to make that very cracked looking texture. There are other mouths you can do. These are much more humanoid mouths, but there are, you know, those vertical ones or ones where they split into several directions but I'm just kind of keeping these pretty vanilla for now just to give you the basic idea and then we have ears as well so going into a point and that you can have a thin tall pointed ear or a wide uh, squashed one or one that's even torn apart uh, with you know bits missing and has features like earrings so as you can see uh, we can create pretty demonic versions of these base uh, things on, on a face and in adding various other features and then warping the geometry, which we'll get to eventually, uh, we can create a really cool look. So here's another base that I have here to work on. These are just some various heads that I'm going to add <clears throat> some horns to, to show you another way that you can add features like that make it stand out quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each picture and I'm going to uh, 
add some defining features. Not all of them will have horns, but that's just one that works quite well. So for example, into the chin, I tend to think uh, you can really s add horns to like the side there, and that creates a very masculine look because it thickens out the jaw. Just some of these little spiky horn bits. So that's one area that I like to add them sometimes, like that. Uh, you can also give them those little devil horns. Though these are a bit cliche, so you don't want to just do them like that because it's going to look corny. You can see here that I've got the curve going in and then I spike it out again like this. And that just gets rid of that cliche, silly sort of look. You want it to be fairly mirrored. And it just gives it a little bit more of a demonic edge that doesn't look too corny. Um, something that I find helps when drawing horns is doing a line in the middle, very thin line like this. And it just creates another edge along the line. You will see very soon uh, how that can be useful. But that's one simple method of adding some horns. On this one, let's go really big. Let's let's go some like a big beefy minotaurish horns. So we're going to start up here, and they're going to be quite thick, right? And they're going to start by going down, out and down, and then they're going to come up again and spike here. Okay, so these can be tricky horns to draw uh, because they're such a strange three-dimensional shape. So I tend to recommend looking up minotaur pictures or demon horns things like that and just seeing what other people do to get that shape looking good i'm just going to draw one side and then mirror onto the other side because it's just much simpler that way um, something you can do is create an edge around the horn like this so it looks like it's coming out of the skin um, but that also can look a bit poxy as well so another method that you can do when bringing out the horn is having it merge with the skin having the texture of the horn kind of fan out in a crackly sort of way and it's like the skin is melding with the the texture of the horn okay so i'm not a huge fan of this actually i'm going to flip it around the other way i'm going to have the horn go out and then come in and up so it can be quite difficult to get these strangely shaped horns to work well. But when you get something that looks relatively decent, see I'm not too uh, fussed with this one, I think it works well. So I'm just going to mirror it and put it on the other side like this. And there we go. <laughs> That's uh, the beauty of Photoshop. Get the jobs done quicker. So there you go. You can see we've got those sort of ram horns on the sides of the head. We can see how that makes a big difference. Here on this one, I'm going to go with uh, some big ones again that kind of go out here. But they're going to pop up. In fact, this left one, I'm going to have chopped off. So they're both... It, it was once two horns, but this one was lost in battle. So we're just going to have a, a chopped off horn. But both of them kind of come out in the same place. So you get the idea. You want to keep it nice and symmetrical. It's quite difficult to maintain that with horns because I suppose everyone's brain is a little uneven. <laughs> there we go. So that's another method of drawing horns that look quite good. Um, so these are just like some other features you can add and you can see how quickly it alters the silhouette of the piece and really dramatically makes uh, a different sort of look like the bull horns and the ram horns look quite different to these sort of demonic devil horns. That's more of a, a slender tall long look whereas these are beefy more masculine. Um, and then of course you can do things like having mohawkish things that spike out and follow along the spine or even fan out like this and you have horns that give it a sort of crowned look which in a strange and creepy way can make your demonic character almost look like some sort of a demon king you can do that just by adding the features that add the silhouette 
of what you're trying to get the look of. Yeah, so uh, you can also do that with shoulders, things like that. Other features, uh, for example, things like veins are very useful to have. So just kind of making them pop out along the main areas. You do want to kind of have a rough idea as to where veins would appear on the body, but having veins can be quite cool. So you can see here the finished result of my tinkering, uh, adding the line work on these things. So we've got over here on the right, um, I've got different textures on each of these horns. So on the right, you can see that I've just gone with those sort of straight lines just to add an edge in the middle of the horns and gone for a really sharp sort of look with the horns. Here in the middle, the ram ones, we've got this sort of webbed uh, bony sort of look. <clears throat> Over here, this is a much more of a decayed look, just really sort of wavy lines, which I tend to prefer uh, out of all of these looks. It's just a bit more natural uh, and monstrous. And then over here on the left, we've got a bit more of a spiked cut up sort of look over here, uh, as if shards of something sticking out and then the veins. So you can see how these features, these things can add a really defined uh, look. And now, what we're going to talk about is warping natural ge geometry into something much more unnatural to really accentuate the demonic monstrous look. Okay, so to start off with a reference over here on the top left, I'm just going to draw normal geometry. I'm going to draw my circle, bring it down. Uh, I'm going to draw a three quarter view so it's a bit easier to kind of see everything's shape. You get the idea. That is my human head, and I can use that as a base to draw the rest of the head. Now, when drawing demons and monsters, we want to really push the boundaries quite a lot. And the more you effectively stretch this geometry, the cooler it's going to end up. So, for example, we might start off with a circle, maybe a little smaller, and really bring the jaw to be a lot bigger. We can see how already it's starting to look interesting so let's bring the mouth up here okay and let's bring the eyes over here and the nose up here on the same level as the eyes and already we've got an interesting place to start okay so let's bring the eyebrows out to be really wide and quite thick so have them stick out have the ears really low shall we and these are floppy sort of ears to make room for the horns, the bull horns that stick out like this. And you can see how already the, uh, the demonic features are kind of making themselves up. I don't necessarily need to imagine how all the parts are going to look. They're kind of dictating themselves the kind of eyes that I want. Uh, then adding the bags, adding the cheekbones in here and having a really wide sort of nose. And the upper lip, sorry, is pretty much invisible. We've got the lower lip here, really pushing itself up. And we're just going to have just a couple of these teeth pop out. And uh, I think this demon would be most effective without any kind of obvious jaw. So we're going to have a really thick neck. It's like the head goes straight into the neck. Okay. And I wonder if it would look any better without a chin. See, I kind of like that. So now we're, we're really warping it. We're not even going to give this thing a chin. It's just, just going straight into the neck. And that is the demon. Okay? So already, by warping the geometry, you can see how fun the process of creating the demon is. Okay? So... Got a reference there on the left. Let's uh, let's muck around a bit more. Let's do a couple more. So the geometry here on the right, we're going to go, let's muck around. Let's go really long oval for the base of the skull. So this is going to be a much longer sort of demon. We're going to go really gangly here. So the eyes will be quite high and the mouth, let's make quite low. Uh, and let's give this one no obvious nose. 
So let's give it really small eyes. Uh, I think smaller eyes are much more threatening looking and creepy than big eyes. Big eyes tends to be associated with cuteness, like chibi eyes and things like that. Whereas smaller eyes, like spider's eyes, like bug's eyes, and it's just it's just a little more eerie when there's too much too much room on the face. Okay, so with this one, we're gonna kind of pretend like we're treating it like an old man, right? So we're gonna really elongate the features and just work with wrinkles. And for this, I'm gonna bring the top lip. Ah, this is gonna be interesting. So originally I was gonna have the mouth here with some sort of teeth popping out, but I'm gonna really muck around here. I'm gonna really muck around. I'm gonna have the top lip up here and the bottom lip here, but the teeth will be down here. So all of that area is gum, just to be freaky. And already, look at that, it's lending itself to the features. You know, once you just kind of pick the things you're gonna muck around with, you can really just use those and fly with them. Really have the bottom lip droop and get that really wrinkly look. And let's give it some big bottom teeth. And this one will have a neck. Quite a long one. Let's get a bit of a narrow skull up the top here. There we go. And uh, let's give it some horns. Uh, maybe not down there, because I don't want it to look too beefy and masculine. So have that just go into the neck. And in terms of horns, let's give it some of those demon ones up here. Some of the more longer looking ones. Okay, so I'm not gonna muck around with it too much more than that, but you can already see how different these two are from each other. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do two more. Um, let's, uh, how are we gonna muck around? Let's, let's draw a really thick one. So big round skull, and we're gonna pretend that, that there is no neck. We just go straight into the shoulders, and uh, starting to shape in the teeth, and wondering how I'm gonna work the, the face shape into that. I'm gonna have the eyes really wide and off to the side. Am I? No, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't have eyes at all. Who needs eyes? Let's just work with the mouth. Nice big focus on the mouth. And let's have this really cracked looks. Al almost like the, uh, the mouth of Sauron. How they did that in Lord of the Rings. Have noses, nostrils, sorry, not noses, on the sides of the middle spike. So it's almost like a rhinoceros. And let's really accentuate this middle spike. Make it stick out more. Notice how rough and uh, relaxed I'm being in this process. It's a real exploration sort of feeling, and that's really, uh, the, I find, getting me the best results, just by just being really relaxed. I'm getting sort of a, a rhinoceros -y vibe from this, this one. I wonder if I can just uh, mix it in with the body. <laughs> you probably notice me squinting while I draw. It's just kind of a way I distance myself the drawing. Here we go. I like this. This is how I'm going to do the eyes. Just on the side like that. On the very sides. It's a really sort of subtle way of going about it. Um, and I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do the chin. Here we go. Let's go really deep. Notice how rough it all is. Really just muck around with it. So that's a really thick, sort of beefy one. And uh, over here, let's go with a much more uh, humanoid looking one. And let's see how demonic we can keep it looking with normal humanish proportions and then demonic features. So let's really accentuate the eyes. Really low, sunken sort of pockets under the eyes. Bring out the cheekbones. Let's go for an almost human nose. Really stretched. 
let's give this one those minotaur sort of ram horns. Although I tend to feel like the ram shape horns work best on um, beefier characters. Like this dude on the left would look quite good with the ram's horns. But for now, like I said, I'm going to keep the human face shape and then really add the features. So have these eyebrows kind of work up into the ram horns, really warp the the features to work with each other. And have those lines continue throughout the face and maybe some spikes. See how explorative it is? I hope that's a word. If not, I'm silly. And you get the idea. So you can see how with warping the geometry and uh, then adding the features after, it, it the, the creation process kind of lends itself to what the result is. It really leads its own process. So I'm going to go through now, uh, speed up through the line work and really add some different details and things. So like uh, perhaps this dude on the in the middle, I'll give some veins. And, uh, and you'll see that I'll go about adding different textures and things like that. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, as you can see I've finished my monsters and demons and as you can see the uh, details that we've talked about being eyes, mouth, nose and all that being warped on a uh, facial geometry that's also been warped can create some really cool interesting things and also using features things like wrinkles, things like veins and things like horns uh, and that sort of thing. So also keep in mind skin textures like these uh, lines and dots, scars or cuts can also add a nice sort of look as well and uh, also textures on the horns, uh, things like that. So that is our tutorial video for today ladies and gentlemen where we delved into the depths of all kinds of hells and came out with these and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like, favourite and subscribe and until next time ladies and gentlemen I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can download the reference files from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And remember to share any art, animation or game you make on Newgrounds.com. Until next time, see you later.